Hi, it's Eliana, and today I am going to be talking about the Rife Therapy technology. So I got um, an opportunity to do a healing exchange, energy healing exchange, um, and to use the Spooky 2 Generator X yesterday. Um, so what this did for me, the Spooky 2 Generator X, and it's a portable generator that can run 30 programs and find frequencies that you need to heal the body, the emotional stuff. So that's what it is. And it's a portable scanner machine that you can hook up to your laptop. And it did a 15 minute scan on me. And it came up with a lot of different unique frequencies that are not identified in their system. So I'm a, I'm a complicated organism apparently. And it generated a bunch of different frequencies and disorders that could be associated with those frequencies. So I will need to go and do some research once I get uh, the list emailed to me from the software. And this was an exchange with one of um, a friend of a friend for who a healing session was done, who has a spooky too. And they have the central generator and they have the generator X that hooks up to it. And it comes with tense pads. It comes with the plasma tubes. There's a lot of different kinds of healings you can do with it. So I had the tense pads on my stomach, just right, just, just doing a scan, running a scan for 15 minutes to see what's going on with my body. I have hypermobility joint disorder where my joints have become loose. And they click and pop and they go out of alignment and jaw disc displacement with the soft tissue disc popping out in and out, clicking and popping. So we were trying to see what this disorder is, what it comes up in the frequencies and it popped up as unknown frequencies in the database. So there could be multiple different associations of what's going on in the body, but it's hard to identify because it's an unknown frequency, which was interesting. And I'm fine with that. So I'll, once I get the email of that list of, of, of all the frequencies that popped in into my body, and these are frequencies of potential, potential weaknesses that the body has. The way the Spooky 2 reads things in the body is electromagnetic frequency. It reads your frequencies because we're all made out, of, made out of electromagnetic frequencies in the body. We have an auric field that produces electromagnetic frequencies. So the Rife machines can read these frequencies because it's electromagnetic. It picks up the frequencies in the body and it has a database of 50,000 different healing frequencies for different diseases and disorders. Spooky 2 has one of the biggest databases out there for life therapy and healing, for cancer, for joint mobility, different kinds of disorders. It just couldn't find a very specific frequency for my hypermobility joint disorder. Because when I scan myself genetically, I'm picking up that I'm losing collagen. So I'm going to try to supplement collagen for my body with something called vital proteins, collagen peptides at vitalproteins.com. So I'm going to try that to boost my collagen intake to see if it will lubricate my joints to stop the clicking and the popping and strengthen my ligaments. I'm going to try that because that's what I sense is what's going on in my body, why this is happening and possibly with connective tissues. And I'll need to look at that list from this, that the Spooky 2 Generator X generated to see what the weaknesses are for the body and the different frequencies to heal that. So it's a huge list. There's about 40 different items on their disorders or diseases that could potentially be causing what I have. 
it it might not be it, but the the spooky chew reads out potentials of the disorders that you could have in the future that you might not have now as weaknesses, but could that could come up in your body. So it reads the now, what you now have, and potentials of the future. So when I was working in the cybernetics labs on Mars for planetary corporations, I had a portable scanner. It was a genetic scanner and body corridor scanner. So you could put your hand on it and it would read your DNA, literally, like you put your hands on it, it would read your DNA from your skin um, and also your body corridor of everything that you could have wrong in the body of diseases and disorders. And that scan took 30 minutes to do. And then it comes out with a precise readout of two to three things that are going wrong in your body, genetically or physically, diseases, genetics. And it tells you the specific location of the disease disorder in the body and the frequency that you need to heal it. Then you put your hand again on the scanner and it goes to heal those items, to like cure them. So you don't need to write, you don't need to run multiple healing scans and scans and healing entrainment. Um, so that, that's interesting. It's a comparable, not to come, do a comparable to the Spooky 2 Generator X. Um, and it comes in different kits for the Spooky 2. It comes in different kits. You can work with the plasma therapy, the coil and the tubes. Uh, you can work with just the tens pads. And if you know what your general issue is, like say you have hip pain, or urinary tract issues, the machine can easily find those frequencies, the healing frequencies that you need to heal that on the Spooky 2 Generator X or the Central Generator or whatever generator you buy or a couple of them. And you can do easy healing frequencies. You can run multiple entrainments for healing frequencies to work on chronic pain issues. So what I learned from the person who was running the Spooky 2 scan on me and my friend, because we're healers and we did a healing trade for this fellow to heal him. Um, we learned that the Spooky 2 does entrainment and that's healing chronic pain issues, disorders in the body. A good candidate is urinary tract disorder and hip pain. Those are good candidates for entrainment of healing chronic pain issues with the spooky two. You put the tense pads on your stomach, your hands or your feet. You run the specific frequencies that it found during the initial 15 minute scan. You run those frequencies as an entrainment healing protocol for an hour or 30 minutes, however much you want in multiple sessions and it does the healing. It heals the frequencies in your body. So it does physical healing on you, which is great. If, if you know the exact condition that you have and it's in their Spooky 2 database for that healing or something similar, the machine is great for that. It couldn't find the specific needle in a haystack for my condition. So I'm a complicated bird of paradise apparently for the Spooky 2 machine, which is fine. I, I'm a medical mystery, I'm used to that. Um, but it was interesting to compare the Spooky 2 Generator X with what I was working with the device that I was working off planet on Mars, uh, the portable scanner slash DNA splicer, DNA healer, that's what I call it. Um, I just call it a portable DNA scanner or a portable body corridor scanner where it could tell you, it could scan your body and tell you where you have imbalances in your body and what needs healing and how. That's what this portable generator could do. And I call it the body scan corridor. Scans all your organs, scans all your body systems, 
scans the electromagnetic frequencies, and it creates a frequency that you need for the healing of the specific things in the body that needs healing and gives you a readout on the portable scanner. And then away you go to do the healing. So the spooky too is similar, but it's in its beginning stages because sometimes it's not very specific in the readouts that it gives you. It gives you multiple possibilities of what potentially needs healing with the frequencies that it has in its database. So it's not a perfect science yet. For some simple things, it's great. For complicated things, um, it might work and it might not work. That's my honest assessment of it based on what I saw and experienced yesterday. Um, and the holographic medical pods is the next advancement of that technology because it's regenerative medicine. The way the holographic medical pods work is they run on plasma healing or crystalline healing frequencies. So you have your holographic medical bed, the pod, holographic medical pod. People call them med beds. That's not the correct term. It's called the holographic medical pods. So you have the pod and sometimes it's an open state pod or it has a cover on it, like sort of like a plexiglass protective shield cover that goes up, you enter the medical pod and it closes or it stays open. It depends on which model it is. And then it has a scanner, like a laser scanner on top or a frequency scanner, and it scans your body. It does a scan to see what's medically wrong in your body, genetics, diseases, disorders, or what it needs to regenerate in limbs. So it runs a scan. It runs the um, either the laser scan or the frequency scan to see what's going on in the body. Then it sends that data to the holographic database, to the holographic technology attached to the holographic medical pod. It sends that data of what it finds in the scan of your body, what needs healing, what needs regenerating, what needs to be fixed in genetics. Um, the, there could be multiple things that need healing. So it sends that to the holographic medical pod database that's attached to the device. And then it begins to create a program for what kind of healing you need done to the body or limbs regenerated or burns healed, diseases, um, whatever that needs to be healed. And so it sets that program up and I would often check the programs to make sure it's accurate for the healing. Oh, or I would add in whatever I needed to add in into that healing process, that protocol. And then the crystalline frequency would be activated or the plasma field frequency would be activated to do the healing process for the person that's inside the pod. And it would take anywhere from an hour to a couple of hours. And the scan, the body corridor, frequency scan of the whole body, all the organs, all the emotional things, the brain, everything, that took about 30 minutes to do, 15 to 30 minutes. So all of this, the holographic medical pods, the portable um, scanners, they're all comparable to the Rife therapy devices. And there's several different Rife therapy devices out there. There's the Spooky 2, there's the GB4000, there's five or six of them that are out. And others are making similar regenerative healing technologies. So there's many out there to consider to work with. Um, so I just wanted to compare and contrast the Spooky 2 experience with the Generator X that I had yesterday with some of the off-world experiences that I had with regenerative technologies. Um, and the Spooky 2, I was told that when you're working with the plasma tubes, right, uh, it can be an intense experience if you're sensitive to plasma it can be a bit more intense than what, what you're used to if you're sensitive to plasma treatment. I infuse plasma into myself every week 
to heal Hashimoto's encephalopathy because I wasn't allowed to actually get into a holographic medical pod and heal myself. I was not allowed to do that. I was just writing the protocols for the healings for the, for the super soldiers or SSP personnel that came into the cybernetics labs to be healed in the medical pods. I myself never got healed inside a medical pod. I was just an end user running the protocols for it to make sure everything worked correctly. So, but from what I remember, I used to do, I used to create different biological drug serums for myself with plasma antigens, different plasma treatments. And I would infuse that into my neck subdermally under the skin. It would go to my blood system and everywhere else. And it would keep me healthy so that I wouldn't have brain fog, memory lapses, or double blurry vision, or myoclonus, or seizures, or convulsions. Those are the symptoms of, for, for what Hashimoto's encephalopathy manifests as in symptoms for me on Earth and on Mars. And also breathing easier. I had sensitivities to a lot of things externally in the environment, which doing the plasma infusions, and it's on earth, it's blood product that's separated from the plasma. You get the pure human plasma that's cleaned up from everything. You infuse it into yourself. That's how it's done on earth. Um, on Mars, it's, it's, it's synthesized through the, um, basically the replicator. You can replicate different plasma enzymes and antigens, infusions for yourself without needing to have blood donors to donate blood and separate the plasma from the blood. So that process they don't do on Mars anymore, but we do it here on Earth still because we don't have advanced replicators yet for that, for regenerative medicine. Some there are some replicators that have been able to replicate replicate human tissue, and even coming close to replicating a heart. So in the future, we'll have replicators that can replicate human organs and tissue. That's down the road in the future. So, but the replicator that I was using could replicate different different plasma types for infusions and then dermally infuse it. And there wasn't a needle. There's, it's a device that just touches the skin. You press the button and goes, and it does the infusion. There's no needle. Right now, um, I use different infusion sites with two different needles into my stomach too. So I poke myself with little needles in my stomach to infuse the plasma and there's a syringe there's connector lines running to the needles uh, with sticky pads that I, you know, once I stick myself with uh, infusion sight lines with the needles attached to my stomach, I put the sticky pads on I, and it's attached to a syringe that I put in a pump, in a manual pump, I turn it on and it runs the infusion for me of the plasma. So that's how I do it here on earth. On Mars, I just, did a dermal infusion quickly, didn't hurt, went through the skin. In 15 minutes, it was done. Here, it takes an hour, 80 minutes to an hour and a half to do that. So I just wanted to compare all of that stuff and share it with you. I've actually, on, a, on the Spooky 2, I've never had a plasma treatment. I've never had that. I'm sensitive to frequencies and electromagnetic um, energy. So maybe a plasma healing would be too intense for me. I don't know. I've never tried it on the spooky too. But you can receive the healing of the frequencies with the tense pads. They're just sticky pads attached to electrodes that go on your stomach, on your feet or your hands. Um, or there's coils, there's like metallic coils that you hold in your hands and you get the healing that way. Uh, the tense pads are the easiest because you just stick them on. The um, frequency current from the machine runs with the frequency field that it finds that you need for your healing, and it runs that through you. 
and it's painless. You don't feel anything. It's easy. With the plasma coils, it might be a little bit more intense if you're sensitive to different fields and signals and frequencies. So it could be a little bit more intense. Um, but you would have to try it for yourself to see how you would feel, which way you would want the frequency healing to be delivered, the tense pads or the um, plasma coils. There are several types of different plasma coils as well. So the Spooky 2 comes with different ki kits that you can get. Um, so entry level or more advanced, it's up to you. Um, and you can download the database of all the frequencies that you can run on the Spooky 2. You can download it for free and have a look at the different disorders and diseases that it can heal with the frequencies. And that's what I had done even before I went to do the healing trade. Because I found joint mobility. I found um, Achler's Danlos syndrome as well. I found a bunch of different joint disorders, basic and advanced, that it could heal. And actually, the fellow who was running this can, he had a look at all my joints. And there wasn't weaknesses in my physical joints. He ran another scan for like five, 10 minutes on my joints, on my joint mobility. And he didn't find any weaknesses in the frequencies of my joints. So he went, hmm, hmm, interesting. You might have something else connected that's making your joints loose, clicking and popping and going out of alignment. So it might not be the joints themselves, the joints are feeling the symptoms, but that's not the cause. It's not in the joints. It could be connective tissue. It could be collagen loss, which I suspect is those two things that are creating the symptoms because the symptoms are not the root cause of the medical issue. The root cause is somewhere else. And this will be interesting figuring that out from that printed list if the root cause is there from the spooky two scan list of what it discovered in my frequency fields as the potential cause. It'll be interesting to study that and see because on that list, it has the names of the medical conditions with the frequency that you need to heal for in the body. It might not all apply to me. Something might apply. I will need to do some research on that. And I specialize in rare diseases and healing rare things. Um, and working towards healing things. So I'll do my research. I'll have a look to see if there's something there for me to work with the spook too. And, and if that's a possibility for me. So this is what I was having an interesting experience with yesterday. And I thought I would talk about it a little. So thank you so much and namaste.